Happy May 14th, everyone. I'm Liam, and we are playing the 2024 Quest Calendar, the Leaf Riders of Renwood. Yesterday, Ivy was verbally accosted by some territorial hummingbirds. She tried to show her good intentions by presenting them with a full third of her worldly wealth. We're now down to seven amber from ten. And they took it, but then they showed their true colors, brandishing their tiny hummingbird spears and baring their tiny hummingbird teeth and chirping menacingly. So Ivy had enough and flicked one with her finger and they backed off. We're still cursed, so if we can defeat seven of Ivy's internal fears, she'll defeat the curse. So let's give that another go. I did discover I'm doing something that's making it harder. So... If it comes up, I'll point it out. Uh, I've only ever defeated six. Oh, where can I put you? Only ever defeated six bosses in this game. Uh, here we go. I better shuffle these. Oops. All right. Good enough. <laughs> we get an item first. A mimic. When drawn as an item, immediately treat the mimic as a monster with a power of four. Okay. Uh, a fireball spell goes over. So we take a damage. Uh, spear does three. So we'll use that. We'll take the mimic as a monster. We take one damage. Next monster. Ethereal. Some kind of ghostly skeleton guy here with a sword. Um... First odd value weapon deals no damage. Okay, two. Uh, we'll take the six there. That's eight. That's great. So we get that guy. That's two. We're, okay, we're off to a really good start. What do we have here? This frog, mage, shaman guy. Eight. So we'll take the six on the dagger. Ah, the mace goes over. You know what? I did that too quickly. We should just, the mace goes over, but let's go ahead and just take that guy. So we take two damage and we get the frog. That's three, we need four more bosses. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Famous last words, crocodile boss with an item. Okay, we'll take six for the dagger. That's, oh, wow, 11, that's perfect. Okay, we're doing really well. Now, this is the thing I've been doing wrong. We get an item for this guy, and I've been taking it from the draw pile. But the rules say to take the item from the discard pile, so it doesn't really cost you a health. We're supposed to shuffle, lightly shuffle, it says, and then draw your item. So here's our item. Big turkey dinner. Yum. Shuffle, discard pile, take three cards, place them at the bottom. We've had that before. Okay, this is this is going much better. <laughs> um, ethereal, same guy as before. Ethereal ghost, first odd value weapon. So this mace deals no damage. There's another dagger. We'll take the six. And we take two damage. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. We need two more bosses, and we have a lot of cards left. This is great. Nine on the skeleton. Short bow does two damage. Sword does four. We have three. That's oh, you know what? Let's um big turkey dinner. Shuffle discard pile. Take three cards, place them at the bottom here. Okay, we can do that anytime we want. So let's oh, let's go ahead and we'll take three damage because we only need one more guy. And we can immediately we're gonna use our turkey dinner which means we can shuffle this pile and we take three cards one two three and we stick them at the bottom of this pile one two three four five six yeah we got this guys i think explode you're only able to land a single attack in our axe so we take three damage <laughs> And we get this guy, and we have cards left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ivy did it. Just out of curiosity, what do we have left? Yeah. Okay. 
We wouldn't have won the game proper. They want you to beat eight bosses. But <laughs> we did it. Ivy's curse is lifted. Goodbye. Disadvantage die. Ivy wakes up and she is feeling a whole lot better. I'm going to erase this. Oh, it's on the tape that I used. <laughs> okay. That's uh, permanently affixed. All right. Well, there we go. Now, where were we? Let's see what adventure is on the calendar for our non-cursed selves today. Explore the lush oases and verdant spots scattered atop the island to seek out the legendary guardian's presence. Begin at the X, navigate around the map, visit each numbered area along your path, explore and resolve each area you visit before you choose your next. I think we'll go, I'm going to assume we're trying to get to the top right here, number six. So let's start, we'll go four, three, two, one, five, six. We'll do a little S curve through here. So area four. The desert's relentless heat and the scorching sun rays beat down upon you, causing your skin to burn and your body to feel the pangs of exhaustion. Your survival instincts are tested as you strive to endure these harsh conditions. Rule D20 plus Constitution, a 17. Constitution is plus zero. Reminder, survivalist. I don't think we need it. One of our party members is a survivalist, I think. Um, that's the best result. You withstand the desert's harsh sun and progress without succumbing to the heat. Your preparation and adaptability have paid off, allowing you to continue your journey with resilience. All right, over to area three. A venomous plant hidden among the foliage suddenly lashes out, attempting to strike you with its toxic tendrils. Roll d20 plus defense. Our defense is six. That's a 17. That's the best result. You barely dodge the plant's strike. The close call leaves you rattled. All right. Head down to area two. Just funny looking dunes in the sand here. While traversing the area, you suddenly notice subtle signs of a hidden danger. You've stepped into a quicksand pit without realizing it. Roll d20 plus intellect. Reminder, danger sense. Our intellect our intellect is plus zero, but we do have danger sense. That's a plus two. Oh, no, we got a one. Uh, if the result is ten or less, you're quickly sucked in and the fear grips you. you strug your struggle only makes it worse. Reduce your health by one. Once you give up and surrender to the pit, you can slowly move out of it. Okay. Uh, so we're down to 13 health. And that was area two. So over to area one. Looks like dust. Dust cloud. As you go through the floating island's lush oases and verdant landscapes, the whipping wind carries a sandstorm that blurs your vision and disorients your path. Roll d20 plus wisdom. Reminder survival. We have plus two wisdom. 14, 15, 16, that's the best result. You keep your bearings despite the storm's fury, but proceed cautiously, knowing that one wrong step could lead you astray. All right, area five. The unrelenting sun beats down and the air is parched. Water is scarce and the intensity of the heat threatens to overwhelm you. Roll d20 plus constitution. Six plus constitution is zero. Um, it's a survivalist, even if we activated that on sky. Um, we, that wouldn't be enough to get us a better result. So we are, result is 13 or less. The heat and dehydration take a severe toll on you. You feel dizzy, fatigued, and disoriented. You must consume one meal ration. Okay. We have seven, <laughs> so we're down to six. And then, last but not least, area six. A suspicious tunnel made of hedges and plants lies before you. You may stop now or continue to explore before returning here. We've explored everywhere. So, that, my friends, is May 14th. 
So we shall visit uh, Ivy and friends again tomorrow. I hope you'll join us. Thanks for watching.